The following is a class from the Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita, Maja Lila, Volume 8, Chapter 20, Text 281 through 293, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on December 18, 1966, in New York. Jivanti Loma Vilaja Jagadandana Tha Vishnu Mahan Sahyayasya Kalabhisi So Govinda Madhi Kudusam Tavaham Vaja Krishna's first expansion, second expansion, the third expansion. The third expansion is Mahavishnu. So Mahavishnu's uh, potency is described in the Brahma Sankhita. The Jasaikan Nishasita Kalam Athavalam. Nishasita Kalam means the breathing period. Uh, just arriving by the breathing period of that Mahavishnu, Jivanti Loma Vilaja Jagadanda Natha. Jagadanda Natha means this. Uh, the supreme creature, created, supreme created creature, Brahma. Uh, Brahma is the principal supreme creature in, the, in each, every universe. There are innumerable universes and there are innumerable Brahmas also. Uh, you'll find in Chaitanya Chaitamrita, it is quoted from Srimad Bhagavatam that uh, one, sometimes it is called Lila, pastime, the Brahma, when Krishna was here on this planet, so Brahma was very much proud that Krishna is now in, in the earthly planet. And this earthly planet is one of the innumerable planets under my control. Brahma is the controller, is the primal principal living entity in this universe. So you are little proud that Krishna is within my uh, control. So therefore Krishna, because he is a uh, Paramatma, he knows everything, what one thinks, what one does. So he, Krishna asked Brahma to come and see him. So Brahma came. Brahma came, his doorman informed Krishna that, uh, right, doorman asked Brahma, who are you please? Now he, he say, Krishna, that I am Brahma, I have come to see him. So when uh, the doorman informed Krishna that in Dwarpa, when Krishna was there as king, so Krishna asked, oh, which Brahma? Which Brahma? Uh, the doorman came back again and informed that, uh, which Brahma you are? Or Brahma became astonished. Which Brahma? And I am the Brahma, I am the supreme creature in this, in this universe. And which Brahma? No. He was surprised. And he said, ah, Tell Krishna that four headed Brahma. Brahma has four head. So Krishna called him, All right, come on. So he came and he offered his obediences. And the Brahma asking Krishna, oh, uh, my, my Lord, may I ask you some question? Now, what is that? That your doorman asked me, who is Brahma? So does it mean there are other Brahma also? Oh, Krishna said, yes, there are innumerable Brahma. You are only four-headed, there are eight-headed, there are sixteen-headed, thirty-two-headed, sixty-four-headed, 
અને ટ્વેન્ટી એઈટ હેડેડ એન્ડ મિલિયન્સ ઓફ હેડેડ ઓલ હેડ આઈ એમ કોલિંગ દેમ ઓલ તો કૃષ્ણ કોલ ઓલ ધી બ્રહ્મા બાય માયા બ્રહ્મા કુડ સી દેમ બટ દે કુડ નોટ સી ધીસ ફોર હેડ એ બ્રહ્મા એન્ડ ઈચ ઓફ દેમ કેમ એન્ડ ઓફ આર્ડ બી સેન્સેસ તો કૃષ્ણ એન્ડ દે હેસ Uh, and uh, Lord, you have, what, what can I do for you? You have asked me. Yes, I have not seen you for, for so many times, so many days, so I called you. So they came, thousands and millions of Brahma came and offered obedience and they went there. And this Brahma, four-headed Brahma, remained in the corner. Oh, what is that? What is that? So this is Krishna's creation. So here it is stated, that the shaygan nishashita kalam athavalam only just uh, abiding by the breathing period of Mahavishnu there are millions of Brahma they are living. Uh, and each Brahma's period that you have read in the Bhagavad Gita sahasya juga pajyantam marahajyat Brahmano vidu the Brahma's one day means uh, ફોર મિલિયન થ્રી હન્ડ્રેડ થાઉઝન્ડ ઇન્ટુ વન થાઉઝન્ડ દેટ ઇઝ ઓન બ્રહ્માસ ટ્વેલ્વ આવર્સ સિમિલરલી ટ્વેન્ટી ફોર આવર્સ વન ડે નાવ કેલ્ક્યુલેટ વન મંથ સચ વન યર સચ હન્ડ્રેડ યર્સ સો દેટ હન્ડ્રેડ યર્સ ઓફ બ્રહ્મા ઇઝ ઓનલી એ બ્રીધિંગ પીરિયડ ઓફ મહાવિષ્ણુ ઇટ લાઈક વી આર બ્રીધિંગ આર inhalation and exhalation is going on so during the breathing period when the breathing is out all these brahmanas become created and when it is in or all they are closed account closed so this is going on so such mahavishnu is the part and uh, one of the on the fourth part of krishna's expanse that is stated uh lord chaitanya is giving evidence from brahma sanghita jas sai kan shashit kal va khavala mat jeevan ti lom bilaja jagadannana tha vishnu mahan sayajas kala visheshu govinda vaadi purusham tamaham bhajam i was he that maha krishna govinda who is fourth dimension i mean the four expansions is mahavishnu uh, in whose breathing period all these brahmas are the uh, principal head of each brahmanda they live samast brahmanda gane rihan tajjami karanadhi sai sab jagate shami this mahavishnu the purusha avata incarnation of purusha of krishna He is the principal, supreme personality of Godhead of all the Brahmanda, all the many thousands of Brahmanda. Eitu kahinu pratham purushe tatta dhitiya purushe reveshuna ha mahatta. Now, he said, now, you have, I have explained to you about the first incarnation avatar. Now, just try to hear. About the second, second Vishnu. First Vishnu is described. The second Vishnu, what is that? <coughs> Shai Purush, that Maha Vishnu. Ananta Koti Brahmanda Sujiya. Ananta Koti, innumerable uh, universes came out of his breathing period by breathing. Sujiya means he created. એકૈકા મૂર્તિ એકૈકા મૂર્તિ પ્રવેશીલા બહુમૂર્તિ કહીસ મહાવિષ્ણુ એગેન એક્સપેન્ડેડ હિમસેલ્ફ ઇન મિલિયન્સ એન્ડ મિલિયન્સ વિષ્ણુ ફોર્મ એન્ડ એન્ટાયડ ઇન ઇચ બ્રહ્માંડ સેમ વિષ્ણુ મહાવિષ્ણુ એક્સપેન્ડેડ હિમસેલ્ફ ઇન મિલિયન્સ આર આર ફોર્મ 
प्रवेश करिया देखे सब अंधकार रही थे नाई को स्थान करी लगी था। When he entered in each universe, it was all dark. So he began to think. निजांग शेष जाले ब्रह्मांड आर्थ भरीला शेष जाले शेष सज्जाए शान करीला। Now in each ब्रह्मांड, this universe, what we are seeing, it is only half. The half is full with water, and where is that water? We cannot see, uh, but there is water. Just like a ball, and half the ball inside is filled with water. <coughs> so, and where from this water came? Uh, the Maha, this. Vishnu, the, the Vishnu which entered each universe from his perspiration, he created this world, and he lied down on the water. This is called Seshus I Vishnu or Gadbhola Pasai Vishnu. Tar Navi Padda Hai Te Uthi Laya Padma, and then he created one lotus flower uh, from his navel. We have seen that picture in the title page, title cover. Navi Padma, Sai Padma Hila Brahmara Janma, Sadma. And from that lotus flower, on that lotus flower, the Brahma, the first created being was manifested. Sai Padma Naya Hila Chadjodha Bhuvan Teha Brahma Hila Sisti Kalila Sijan. And uh, this Brahma is a, a living being, Jiva Tattva. He is not Vishnu Tattva. Uh, let's see how much a, a living being can be powerful. Now, uh, Brahma was created by this Gabodakshai Vishnu, and Brahma in his turn, he created all these planetary systems. There are fourteen status of planetary systems. Chodha Bhuma. Bhurlok, Bhubarlok, Janalok, Mahalok, Tapalok, similarly there are fourteen planetary systems all over the universe. Vishnuru Paiya Kare Jagat Palane Gunathita Vishnu Sparsana Himarasane. Now, this Vishnu has nothing to do, he is not affected by these material contaminants. That is the power of Vishnu. Just like we are living entities, when we come into this material world, we become contaminated, we become affected by this, by the influence of this material nature. But Vishnu, although he is looking after the management of creation of this Brahmanda, he is not affected. He is not affected. Vishnu Rupaya Kari Jagat Parane, Gunatita Vishnu Sposha, Nahi Mayasana, Rudra Rudhari Kari Jagat Sangha. And when these uh, material worlds or universes are to be annihilated, the same Vishnu uh, in his form of Lord Shiva, Rudra he annihilates. Uh, the Vishnu's, Vishnu uh, creates and Lord Shiva annihilates. And Brahma is in charge of this universe. Brahma, Vishnu, Sita, Arjuna, Avatar, Sisti, Stiti, Plaer, Tiner, Adhika. Now, uh, this material world is created, it is, uh, uh, it stays for some time, and it is again annihilated. Just we have seen in the Bhagavad Gita, Bhutta Bhutya Praliyate. This is the nature, this material nature is like that. Just like you have seen one lamp, it is once it is extinguished, one it is light. Similarly, uh, there is creation, uh, there is maintenance, and there is annihilation of this material world. Now, and these three functions are 
controlled by three gunavata, uh, qualitative incarnation of the Supreme Lord. Uh, what are they? The Vishnu, Vishnu is the incarnation of the uh, modes of goodness, and Shiva is the uh, incarnation of the modes of uh, annihilation, and Brahma is the in charge. Brahma is secondary. Brahma is the secondary creator. First of all, everything is the principle, the material principle, ingredients, and the gunas, and everything is created by Vishnu. Then the secondary creation with those ingredients, all these planetary systems, everything is created by Brahma. So Brahma is also a secondary creator. And then Vishnu maintains. Just like to a carpenter, you give wood and planks and materials and screw and other things, and the carpenter makes a very good cabinet, and you maintain that. Similarly, this Brahmanda, the secondary creation is Brahma, and Vishnu is the maintainer, and when it is to be destroyed, it is destroyed by Lord Shiva. This three gunavata. Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva, and gunavata. They are incarnations of uh, Krishna's guna. In other words, it is to be understood that these three gunas, they are also coming from Krishna. So therefore, uh, for Krishna there is no such distinction. Several times yes, I have explained this thing, but this material, spiritual, or the qualitative differences, that is for us, not for Krishna. How it is? Just like government has got different, different departments. There is a criminal department, civil department, and this department, that department, so many departments. Now, for us, the criminal department uh, may not be uh, so pleasing, or civil department may be very much pleasing, but for the government, both the departments are equal, because they have to maintain equality, either criminal department or the civil department. Uh, the government has no distinction that this uh, this is criminal department, therefore this department should be neglected or uh, it is inferior. No. Rather in criminal department the government may spend more than civil department. Uh, similarly, uh, these distinction, this qualitative dis- distinction, matter, spirit, and the different kinds of modes, they are distinction for us, not for Krishna. He is absolute. He is absolute. To the absolute there is no such distinction. Therefore, when Krishna comes, uh, you know, when Krishna comes in this material, he is not affected by this. Uh, suppose the uh, minister, the secretary or the uh, president, goes to the criminal department to see uh, the prison house, and he is not affected by the prison rules. It is simple to understand. If the prisoner thinks, oh, uh, he is also one of the prisoners, because he has come here. Uh, This is nonsense. He is not prisoner. Similarly, when Krishna comes in this material world, if a foolish man thinks, that he is also one of us. He is foolish number one. Therefore, in the Bhagavad Gita, it is stated, avajananti mangamurha manasimtanuva. The foolish person there uh, thinks that I am one of them. So these examples are very nice. We can understand. So, here it is stated that the Vishnu, uh, Brahma Vishnu, Sivita, Gunavata, Sististiti, Prayatine, Radhika. 
हिरण्य गर्भ अंतर्जामी गर्भदक्षाई सहस्र श्री शादी करी बेरे जा रहे गाय बेरा देर इज ए प्रेयर सहस्र शिष्य देर इज वेरी फेमस प्रेयर दैट प्रेयर इज ऑफर टू दिस विष्णु हुई विष्णु दि गर्भ तो साय विष्णु दि विष्णु हु हैज एंटर्ड इन एवरी यूनिवर्स दैट गर्भ तो साय विष्णु यही द्वितीय पुरुष ब्रह्मांड में ईश्वर माया आश्रय है तब वो माया पा ऑल दो दिस विष्णु इज द सेंटर सेंटर ऑफ द मेटीरियल एनर्जी स्टिल ही हैज नथिंग टू डू विथ दिस मेटीरियल एनर्जी ही इज फ्री फ्रॉम द कॉन्टेमिनेशन ऑफ मेटीरियल एनर्जी इन दिस मत भागवत देयर इज ए वर्स अपश्यत पुरुषम पूर्ण मायांश जब अपाश्रयाम वेन वैष्णव वॉज जस्ट अटेम्पिंग टू राइट श्रीमद भागवतम बाई भक्ति योग टू थिंग्स अपश्यत पुरुषम पूर्ण ही द सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी एंड द मेटीरियल एनर्जी अपाश्रयाम जस्ट Far away from him, because this Maya's task is very thankless task. Maya's task is very thankless task because he she is in charge of these conditioned souls, and her business is to give all the conditioned souls all his misery, miseries. Trishu, you have seen in the hand, you have. He may, he might not have seen, but uh, there is a picture of Durga. She has got three uh, trishul. Trishul means three kinds of miseries. Uh, so the Maya, this material nature, is inflicting upon the uh, conditioned soul always three kinds of miseries, so that they can uh, come to their conscious Krishna consciousness. But the conditioned souls are so foolish and so dull; they have accepted ah oh, these miseries as very pleasant. They have no sense that they are always in three kinds of miseries: adhati, adi bhuti, adi dhuvi. This is constantly going on, just like in the prison house. When the prisoners are there, it is not meant that they should be comfortably situated there. The prison house meant for giving them all a some trouble, so that they can come to their consciousness that we have broken, we are law breakers, therefore we are punished here. But if the prisoner becomes so full that all I don't care for this prison, let me finish this task and again commit nuisance and again come to me. That is going on. So gata gata kam kam al ante. So the conditioned souls, they are not coming to the sense that what is their position. This position, by the grace of some special representative of the supreme Lord or by the supreme Lord, is offered to this conditioned soul. So this is not your place. You are part and parcel of God. Your place is in the kingdom of God. Your place is there. You are mana sastani ne ani prakriti sthani kashuti. You are struggling very hard within this material nature. Just try to understand your position. So these things are described in scriptures in the Vedas, so that these foolish conditioned souls may come to their senses and try to become Krishna conscious and make their life successful. so that they can go back to home back to god thank you